What's up, guys? You need to meet here with Cat again. We didn't top anything this time. We're just doing it. We're just doing a Jag deck profile for funsies. What? This is uh, Heroes of Atlantis. That's that, that's like the fun name for it, yeah. Instead of just like Atlantean hero. Uh, so September 12 format. Uh, you know, you don't have the Mermails yet, but the Atlantean structure deck is out, and the Atlantean cards do fun things. So we were trying to figure out what we could use them in. You know, there's cards like Abyss Soldier. Um, but some of the more interesting cards we settled on and included in the deck, we'll get to it, but they include the heroes. So that's that's where we uh, we went for with this deck. Um, just to put all the Atlantean cards out there, we've got three Dragoons, because you can, three Marksmen, because you can, uh, only two Infantry. It has the best, you know, pop effect most of the time, um, but it itself is just a bad monster at least marksman is kind of neat in that it can get out a bigger monster and dragoons is an 18 beat stick um but you, you can, can allow it to attack directly and do shenanigans and i always forget about that effect too yeah uh, but that's all your your atlanteans uh i guess for anyone who doesn't know marksman when discarded for a water monsters effect uh or sent to the graveyard rather for a water monsters effect pops a face-up card marksman pops a Set card and dragoons searches any sea serpent, no level restrictions. So let's, I'll, I'll point out that synergy later when we get into it. Uh, and speaking of, we might as well just go into it now. Uh, you can really abuse Deep Sea Diva in this deck. It specials out either infantry or marksman. Um, if you get infantry, you can re summon another one or summon a marksman because you can uh, normal summon an additional sea serpent while this is on the field. Um, you can make fives real easily. You can make uh, a four or a rank two with infantry. Uh, fun stuff. Being able to run multiples of it is uh, very enjoyable. Good normal summon, but the best normal summon in the deck by far is that one. Undyne is awesome in this deck. Uh, you don't really care about the controllers. You do run two. The bricks. You play lore, though. Uh, it's actually not that bad, all things considered. Uh, but you can send any of the Atlanteans for their effects while searching a card. So it's normally a plus two. You can search any Sea Serpent. You can pop any set. You can pop any face up. Or you can get the best card. Or the best card, Dragon Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so the card has a lot of fun synergy. But anytime your opponent special summons a monster, you can discard a card and special summon it from your hand or grave. It can yeah. discard itself. It can discard itself and special summon itself. But most of the time, you want to be... Using that reactively to discard an infantry or a marksman, and it's still not even the worst to discard a dragoons for it. It still searches um, to special this out and be disruptive on your opponent's turn. Uh, it's particularly crippling against decks that tend to have singular monsters out, uh, like glad beasts. If you can set this up in grave and you have an infantry in hand, you can stop them from doing a whole lot of things. Um, card keeps coming back, keeps abusing your Atlanteans. Uh, is a five so that with controller you can do fun things with synchros. Um, just uh, just fun card, fun synergy. Uh, another card that you will occasionally send with Undyne, but most of the time you want to help with your discarding, is Ice Edge and Stratos to search it. So Ice Edge being a level three water that can just discard a water monster whenever you want it to. Um, so you can proc any of the Atlantean effects. And then attack directly and pop a spell or trap in your opponent's side of the field. Uh, it's just really versatile. Um, not much more than that. You run Miracle Fusions. We'll get to those. Wish the stats didn't suck, but they do. Yeah. Ending just on this. Like, if you just normal summon this, discard a card, pop a card, attack, and then pop another card. But all you have at the end of the turn is an 800 monster. It's not great. Um, so we're trying to shore up that weakness. But the monster itself has a lot of good synergy. Um, level 3 water discards cards does all the things you want in an Atlantean deck um, combo extender kind of uh, Birdman so this was a holdover from when we were on the Atlantean OTK strategy which is D.Va into infantry special summon this by bouncing D.Va back to your hand resummon the D.Va get attack squad do a whole bunch of fun stuff um, you can still even without attack squad on the deck you can still kind of make a big board with D.Va and Birdman. Marksman get attack squad. Yeah. Marksman summons attack squad from the deck. Pretty good. We don't play that, though, because we have Miracle Fusion. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a fun card. It, could it be cut? Yeah, we've been thinking about cutting it for, like, an Abyss Soldier, which is another good water synergy monster. Because this deck kind of struggles with Zen mains. Yeah, this deck can struggle with Zen mains, and Abyss Soldiers are really good out to it. Um, so just something to consider. It's a flexible. It's a flex slot. 
Um, as the aforementioned 800 body on the board uh, should indicate to you, uh, this deck struggles with defense, so we run some defensive hand traps. In the fact that Trag is really good, because like back in the day, you'd be like, okay, Trooper Trag, that's like such a good opening. This is the same way with Undyne Trag, where if you summon Undyne, send your dragoons, get a couple cards, you're down. You're you're basically discarding for like hand size at that point, so you're up to seven, but you can get it down to six, and you can. Yeah, Trag's really big. Yeah, in, in I mean, early stages of the game. Undyne is straight up a plus one on normal summon if you send Dragoons to make this 600 bigger. And so. this is always left because how many trap cards do you play? Uh, currently, zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about putting a Treacherous in there, but realistically, zero. The goal is to make MSD completely dead. Yeah. Uh, you do run two of those. No main deck maxis. This deck fears more things like uh, Insectors and whatnot. Uh, eh, it's, it's just, it, it's a good card. Uh, could you swap it for Maxi? Probably. Um, it being a tuner matter sometimes, but... Valor's just a better card this format. Yeah. So that's all your defensive hand traps. Getting on to the spells. Valor the boat. <laughs> the boat. Oh, God, I forgot the boat is even still here. Uh, so, you know, main main reason to run heroes in anything is to run this card. Absolute Zero is still a truck in this format. And Valor is your light for shining. Yeah. <laughs> He's out there. Uh, I, there's nothing more to say. Miracle Fusion is a good card. Absolute Zero is a great card. Uh, if you're running heroes, you should try to run it. Uh, we do play two one ofs that you could maybe swap with each other. Uh, Salvage is great in this deck. You're almost always going to have it live very early with your Undines, with your Divas, Dragon Ice, uh, with Dragon Ice to recur cards back into your hand. Uh, if you have Dragon Ice already set up, then you just have additional discard fodder. If you have Ice Edge, you have more discards. Um, Morai helps unclunk your hands. If you open a bunch of Marksmen's or Dragoons and you don't have anything to do with them, you can put them back and hopefully draw some live cards. You need to draw Miracle Fusion in this particular build of the deck. Yes. it's it's It kind of keeps the, the, the plays going because a lot of your guys just don't do enough on their own. And you have to slim down these versions because if you're playing a standard build without them, you'd be playing more copies of these. You typically max out on a card like Moria Agreed because you're trying to draw into that OTK. Whereas this deck, you can you have power spells with your like if your Diva gets Valored or something like that, or they warning it, then you could just hit them with Miracle Fusion, and that just like really can kind of get you ahead. Yeah, exactly. Um, so Moria to try and see it. There's a lot of cards that'll help you see it. To further helping to see things, you play Allure because you very easily get your Undyne. And you have uh, Trag and Gores and stuff, and they're weenies and whatnot, Birdman as well. Uh, you play Rota to search the Ice Edge, or the Stratos to search the Ice Edge. Um, it's just helping you get through your deck, draw a meaningful water, draw a meaningful card. You do also play Double Duality because uh, you're often very fine just normal summoning Undyne passing after that, especially if you have like Trag or something in hand. Um, that's, uh, that's it for those generic search cards. You play... The Trinity. The Trinity, of course, and you do play two MSTs on top of it. You could argue that you should swap that for Lance to pair with Marksman. Uh, Marksman has kind of like a bear slash fire dog type synergy. If it inflicts battle damage, you can special a, well, level four all over Atlantean from your deck. Normally you just get like Dragoons or something to have another 1,800 life points. Um... I don't think the synergy is worth it. Lance is not horrible, though, so, it, I mean, it really wouldn't be that big of a stretch to make that switch. I just opted not to. That is, MST is the safer play. Yeah, MST is more often the safer play, unless you're, like, in the mirror match, and then good luck. <laughs> uh, on to the extra deck. The reasons you're playing, the heroes, good cards. Good cards do good things. That's uh, that, that's really about it. You don't really need to play any of the other ones. Uh, you don't run any Earths. You don't run any Darks. Well, I, you do run Darks. You don't really want to make Eskirido, though. Shiny is just leagues better. The only time I've ever wanted a different one was when I had a Zen Mains get warning and I wanted to make, you make <laughs> Nova, Nova. Ma Nova Master. Yeah, you don't have room. This extra deck is very tight, as you'll see. Because you have D.Va. As, as you will see in just a second. Um, another way you can get a light... Easily into the graveyard is with Diva. You can just make Armory Armor as a four, as a level light. A level light. I can speak words today. Um, it's that easy. Otherwise, it's just a decent card. Uh, you have room for a one five and one six. 
you have room for two sevens. You have Black Rose and Gungnir, which you can run. Diva and uh, uh, Dragon Ice it easily makes Gungnir. Great card. Discard two cards, pop two cards, and then do two other things with the Atlanteans you hopefully discarded instead of real cards. You can make it with Dragoons and Controller because it's just one tuner. <laughs> Ooh, interact. I mean, things like that happen though. Yeah, you can. That's that's the main reason behind doing. You can just make it with. I've I've made it with Stratos. <laughs> Cause you can. Uh, or made Black Rose of Stratos or whatever. Cause you want to make sure you have like the access to the generic as well. So you you, you use controller more often than you think you don't. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of controller, yeah, controller these... Dragonize, you make you make these cards. Um, other cards that you can make. Uh, you have access to rank twos pretty easily thanks to Diva. Uh, Phoenix is fun um, if you can get out Stardust especially, but otherwise you know it's three K damage on a rank two. It's not bad. Uh, you could do it with Great Tornado if you play Great Tornado. Yeah, we opted not to do that, but you definitely can. Um, other good generic cards. Zen Mains. It's just it's just that it's generic. Leviathan. You can do what Mermails do later and make it and detach the Marksman to pop a card. Uh, it's a little harder, but you can still line up a marksman at a nice edge or something. Detach the marksman, pop a set card. Good card. Other good card. That's uh, that's it for the extra deck. The side deck. So the card that I want to find room for in the main, but haven't quite fixed the ratios yet. Abyss Soldier. This card is great against decks that make walls. Zen mains. Yeah. yeah. Really, any deck can make Zen mains, but it's I don't know if you're worried about monsters that are sticky. Abyss Soldier really helps. Um, you also side Maxis to swap those out for Veilers if you're playing something that special summons a lot. Or if you're just going second against windups. <laughs> windups in general. Uh, good cards. Uh, mind Control. You play a lot of tuners, so if you're up against Gear Gear, you can just steal their set of armors and then you know, synchro with it or something to get it off the board. Um, nothing, nothing more than that. You do play Soul Takers to help with things like Christia. Uh, Christy is actually not the worst thing in the world for this deck. If you're able to see an Undyne, you just send an infantry and pop it, and you go on with your day from there. Uh, but without, like, Abyss Soldier, you're you're a little out of luck. Although Ice Edge does still out it if you have an infantry in hand. So th this deck has actually a few ways to deal with problem cards, um, but it never hurts. It's always a good generic side against Chaos Dragons. Yeah, you can get out-resourced by Shining as well. Yeah, that too. matchup, that deck can really outgrind you. So being able to, like... Take away their access to monsters is pretty helpful by turning off the shining by making it mistiming. Make it mistiming. Name of the game. Uh, MST. MST. Good. Play it. That's it. Uh, because you're all mono type and not on meta mono type, you can play the full suite of mirrors. Uh, they cover a lot of matchups. They don't impact you at all. Shadow mirror occasionally hurts your trag and gores plays, but. Good cards are still good. I like putting one set of the floodgates in because typically people are going to board out MST against you because you don't play traps. So essentially we have uh, four pairs of floodgates so you can pick whichever one you feel is the most apt in the particular matchup that you're playing and then uh, just board that one in and board out. Yeah, you have a lot of flexibility with your floodgates. Um, I mean, you, you are still worried about opponents' floodgates like macro defissure. Um, that's why MSTs are in there, that's why Decrees are in there, but you have your own. It's just good. I like the deck a lot. Just uh, It's really resource management intensive um, in a way that I enjoy. I particularly like the salvage synergy with all the discard outlets. Um, really just, I mean, discarding that card is, is always fun. Um, that, that, that's it. It's fun. It's semi-competitive, I'd say. It's not Tier 1. It could be Tier 2. If you really optimized it, I don't really have that many results with it. The one tournament I played in it, I think I went 2-2 and then I had to drop for personal reasons. Um, but it was, I felt like it definitely had potential. Could be refined more. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, Thanks for watching, guys.